We just got a customer that brought in two drives like this. This is the 3.5 inch hard drive. The customer's drive failed and it was not spinning. Uh, no signs of power on the drive at all. So what the customer did is he bought the same exact drive, he swapped the board, and now the drive spins. Everything is good, but the drive is not recognized by the computer. A uh, customer came in and he was asking questions on how uh, we could retrieve the data. Uh, he did mention that he swapped the boards and the drive is spinning, but he's not able to read from the drive. The reason is we also need to swap the BIOS chips on the board. By doing so, we should be able to read from that drive. So swapping the board alone is not enough. We also have to swap the firmware. And this is the good board that he bought. And this is the bad board. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the BIOS chip out of this board. I think it's two ICs that we need to desolder from this board. And we're going to put it on this board here. Then we're going to put this whole board on this drive and we should be able to read the data from the drive. Let me take a quick look at the board. This doesn't look like it's a BIOS chip. Let's read this number here. 5S. 81A. Okay, so this is the chip. Let's take a look at the board number. Zero zero seven two. One five seven zero board. Okay, so doing a quick search online, I can verify that this is the chip that we need to swap. Okay, so that's it. We only need to swap one chip and we should be good. So before we do the swapping, we need to remove this board out from this drive. Big Boss already removed this board. So let's do this one. So in the meantime, let's remove this chip. Pin number one is on the bottom left. We have to keep that in mind. We do not want to apply a lot of heat onto this board. It only has maybe two layers. So let's do uh, maybe 350. Start with 350 and And now let's remove the chip that we need from the bad board, which is this one here. put this chip back on here and 
that's it. We're gonna give this to Big Boss to assemble it and see if it will work. All right, so the drive is assembled. Let's see if we can read from the drive. Okay, so currently we have on our system, we have the following drives. C, one terabyte, we have the C1, USB-K, and this. I'm gonna connect the customer's hard drive. Hopefully it gets recognized. It's connected. Nothing yet. Is it spinning? Yeah, it's spinning. Okay, I hear the sound. Yeah, right there. Right here. And we can see the customer files. Awesome. And so as you can see, swapping the board alone is not enough. Customer thought he can swap the board and he will be able to read from that drive, but that's not the case. When you swap the board, you also have to swap the BIOS chip, which has the information about the drive. So we swapped the chip and the drive is working now. We're going to call the customer to come and pick up and that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video. So let's take a look at the bad board to see what is wrong with it. Just out of curiosity, customer does not want it fixed. And he doesn't care about this board. But just out of curiosity, let's see if we can figure out, based on physical inspection, what is wrong with this board. Nothing obvious. This is obvious here. It has burn marks on it. This looks like a hole. Yeah, look at this. It's split in half. So this component could be what caused this board not to power on or not to work. Look at the component here. I believe this is a diode, but I could be wrong. See, there's visible signs of damage on this component. It's blown. So if we were to fix that drive, or if we were to fix this board here, we would change this component, and I am 99% positive that this board will work after we replace this component. But since that's not why the customer came here, we're not gonna do anything to it, and we're just gonna give it back to the customer. Mm -hmm.